What is the dumbest thing your teacher did that immediately backfired? We just received our analysis exams, which was about a book. However, the marking didn't seem right to us, as a lot of her favorite students got great grades with poor answers. And the least liked student weren't given the points while they did a better job. After 10 minutes of arguing, she said, I'm not coming back on these. If you have a problem with my grading, go see the principal. Guess who was surprised to see almost the whole class in their office? In the end, another teacher regraded our test. And the teacher got a warning from the direction. We never had her teaching us ever again. On a test, the question was, Why can't Henry Kissinger be president? I answered, Because he isn't natural born. The teacher thought I meant as opus to C section and marked it wrong with a big thing that said, Basically, WTF is this. So I had to show her in the Constitution where it actually uses the phrase, natural born. Article 2. In 8th grade, I got put into the middle tier match class. But most of my friends were in advanced math and I wanted to be with them. I spoke with my teacher, who happened to be one of my close friend's mothers, and asked her what I could do to move up. She told me, along with two other kids who wanted to move up, that if we did all our homework plus test as well as all the homework plus tests for the advanced class, she'd think about sending us up. We'd also get extra credit for doing the advanced class's work. I ended the quarter with the highest grade in the class and over 100. At least a few points above the other two kids. But they got moved up instead of me. I used to go to my friend's house for dinner every Friday and that Friday when I went. My friend confronted his mother about me not getting moved forward. It turns out that the other two kids went to temple with my friend and that he thought the reason. They got moved up and I didn't was that those parents knew the teacher. She had no response and quickly pivoted to something else. It backfired in a way that I stopped thinking hard work mattered and that networking was what was important. Maybe I'm lucky that happened because networking has been immensely helpful to my success. Definitely more than hard work. I failed the writing proficiency exam. Needed to graduate college. With a perfect score. I had to convince her to let a different teacher grade it and surprise. I passed. My teacher tried to be funny by insulting a student, but ended up getting fired. Not me but my partner in high school. She went up to him and said, take out that stupid vampire tooth, and yanked on his actual reel. Canine tooth that protruded from his lip a bit. Long story incoming. She had to make up one final grade because our school required seven total grades in a semester. But she had six. She had no more material left to cover. And the school year had about two weeks left to finish entirely. Which means she needed to find a loophole to create an extra grade fast. She chose to cut the score of the sixth test in half. Then spread out both half scores onto the sixth and seventh final scores. Example. You got an A asterisk of 92 on the sixth test. But with her chosen method. That 92 became 246 which equals two big fat FS. Every single student failed her class. Honor roll students were no longer part of the achievement program. And those with low grades in general would fail the entire grade. The students obviously and justifiably complained. They called the parents. And involved other teachers to see if incompetence was the reasoning for her. Well. Incompetence. The parents demanded the principal to do something about it or else. The principal had to call the teacher for recapitulation. But the teacher was too stubborn to understand and admit what she did wrong. 
She was around 70 years old. The principal told her to either duplicate the final grade or accept the write-up that could potentially be enough of a reason to get her terminated by the Federal Education Board. Lo and behold, everyone passed her class. She retired the next year. When I was in elementary school back in the 50s, a bird flew into the classroom though an open window and began hopping around on the teacher's desk so she smacked it with a yardstick. It fluttered about and fell onto the floor dead to the screams of 30-plus kids.